Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. I hope you are all doing well today, the 20th of September of 2022. Hope you all had a great weekend. It's a Tuesday today actually. It's a Tuesday, which I usually show up on a Tuesday. We're here to read the messages as the moon is transiting through Cancer. It's home. Very strong ties to the home, emotional situations going around, um, the past. We are still in retrograde season, everyone. I think I'll be doing an astro update today as we do need to catch up. For those of you that are not on Patreon, obviously, that are here, I want to just give you an understanding of what's going on around now and just recently astrologically speaking as those on patreon uh, they get the month ahead they're more um, they have the more understanding of what's going on and with the new and full moons as well we're coming up to nearly the end of the Virgo season Libra is just around the corner so I'd like to be one of the first dear Libra to wish you a happy birthday. Very important time. We're we'll talking about that in the Astro Update. So let's read the energies. What's going on today? 20th of September of 2022. Dear Spirit, what are the energies? What is it that we need to know, dear Hermes Messenger? What is it that we need to know? Energetically speaking, remember this is, we're reading the energies, this is not a personal reading, take it as it resonates for you and whatever comes up, uh, see if it resonates. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, I don't know about you guys but yesterday was a really energetically tough day, it was a very hard day, I've seen it around, I felt it as well. Um, it's like, who's got the power, who's got the ability to be more, the most, I don't know, trusting, patient, uh, understanding person in the world, because yesterday was just like a push and pull. We've got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, three knights. It's like the energies go from very slow to very fast. And then again, back to um, it's 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 as though, and I energetically uh, speaking, Knight of Pentacles. He plans for the future. He strategizes. It's the Virgo energy. He's very cautious, very uh, capable, very hardworking. But he needs to know that this Pentacle, um, this future, whatever he's building on which is related to practical matters, things based in reality, right? Remember the uh, Knight of Pentacles being Virgo can be quite discerning, is looking very much about the details. With the retrogrades, we're revisiting the past. Um, so there's an energy of the past connected to the possible future. We've got two Knights facing the future. So looking at more practical matters, if we can if we have got the ability to make this pentacle grow and this pentacle could be a business could be a relationship could be a home could be anything that speaks to stability a sense of value uh, anything connected to monetary uh, issues as well and we've got the queen of swords which is libra energy so and remember as we're reading the energies not all of you will watch this on the day so Take the message uh, as it resonates for you when you get this message, when you hear this reading, okay? Queen of Swords could be some sort of a decision, a judgment, trying to detach, um, look at things from a, um, a cerebral place, right? Looking logically, thinking, speaking, having the communication. We've got Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. It's like a meeting like a get-together, like, because we know the Queen of Swords is someone that's been hurt, 
She's usually a divorcee. She could be a widow. She could be um, someone who's in separation. It could. She could also speak to some sort of a decision or a ruling. So legal matters could come up here as well. Now, the Knight of Swords, uneasy energy, difficult. Um, so slow, strategic, then quick and abrupt and... Uh, sort of blurting out the information mm, very very quick uh, quick connection to the past but we know that the knight of swords uh, very much about the logic about the thought about we know knights are about action so Action, and not only that, because he's the uh, the sword suit. It's our perception, it's information, it's anything to do with legalities, as I said before. Um, and just fairness, justice, injustices could be here as well. Some sort of an injustice, right, where there could be, because we've got three knights, so the energies are slow and then they're fast and then they're, they're paced again but looking at the suits so it's all about practical matters things that are real things that are physical and tangible there's information maybe missing information a lack of information needing to revisit the past to get that information okay so we go from cerebral thought process, uh, communicative energies, and remember that Mars is in Gemini. Mars is going to retrograde in Gemini. So even though this is the Aquarian energy for me, and we've got Uranus, Uranus, which is um, in Taurus. So, and Uranus... Uh, in Taurus, Taurus is a Venus ruled sign and Uranus has been trining over in a good connection to Venus in Virgo. So it's all about the details, discerning, uh, where practical matters are concerned, where there's uh, there's uh, the uh, the ability or the, the uh, desire to seek the information, to clear the air. Remember, Neptune is still in Pisces, which, you know, the sun has been moving through Pisces, uh, through Virgo and has been opposing Neptune. So where there's been disillusionment, a lack of understanding, mm, misunderstandings, deception possibly as well, hidden information we could also say or... Remember that uh, Pisces and Neptune, it's many times it's it, it's like wearing a mask. It's like the illusion or hiding behind an illusion or, you know, wanting to uh, think of things as very magical and very, um, very dreamy. So I feel that as the sun has passed... Uh, over, you know, that opposition with Neptune. There's something that's that needs to be cleared. And it may have to do with unconditional love. It may have to do with sacrifice, with empathy. Um, remember, that's what uh, Pisces is. And as the sun is moving through Virgo, it is sort of bouncing off Pisces. So it's like a, a sort of the sun is opposing Pisces. Right, so there should be discernment uh, where there's been too much service, too much sacrifice, too much giving and no receiving. This is like a knee-jerk uh, energy here where I feel that there's frustration and I've spoken about frustration recently in my daily reads. And But this is going to be really, really good the next few months moving forward because we've got the ability with Mars... In Gemini to make those important to have those important uh, communications to because Gemini is also it's collaboration it's working within a small group of people right it's also a curiosity needing to summon up get the information understand um, 
how to move forward, right? Of course, um, Mercury uh, is in Libra as well, and this is the, uh, you know, Mercury is the logic, it's the cerebral mind, it's, it's the logic moving forward, it's having those communications, it's dealing with unbalanced or unfair situations, and it's connected very much to relationships, partnerships, right? And remember that Libra is, is a cardinal sign. So in the next uh, few days, as the sun is going to pass over that zero degrees of Libra, it's a very important time, very important time indeed. So we see what we see is the uh, Knight of Cups showing up here, which is obviously, and as I always say, we see that he's wearing a suit of armor, so he's protecting his heart. That's why he's not certain about moving forward and this is Scorpio energy and Scorpio does deal with at this time as the south node is transiting through Scorpio Scorpio can speak to death uh, regeneration so something needs to end that was karmic that was heavy that we're carrying right and that could also speak to fear wow I love this the ace of swords is a card of victory it's a card of truth it's a card of severing ties, cutting through the cloud, uh, cutting, decluttering, cutting through the crap, as I always say. Ace of Swords is like the, um, we get the understanding, right? Remember, aces are all about potential. The potential is there to speak one's truth, even if it's not an easy truth. We do see Queen of Swords, uh, Knight of Swords. So we've got the energy of a Libra and Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius, right? Libra is where Mercury is trying to retrograding. Um, Aquarius is where Saturn is, and there Saturn is the blockages. But there's something that we're needing to cut uh, away that's keeping us tied to something uh, connected to the past, okay? And remember that Earth is very slow, very uh, slow to move forward. So it's about planning for the future. Um, and, and that's why, because we've got very slow, a very slow night and then a very quick night, that's why I said it's like a knee-jerk energy here, like something is rebounding, someone's someone's getting themselves into trouble here this could be a heated conversation this could be an argument because of a lack of belief a lack of understanding a lack of belief that maybe what's been promised in the past hasn't been delivered this has taken forever now that's what the sun moving through virgo is looking at and then we move into the libra season and we're going to have the understanding of what needs to be done so that we could come into balance and harmony. Is it a partnership? Is it a family relationship? What is it? We will have the truth. Mercury is coming back, ret retrograding back, will re-enter Virgo. So it'll be like we're going back to the past, right? But we're going to have some information because Mercury is going to connect with the sun. It's going to Kazemi with the sun. And Mercury obviously will have the understanding. So we've all got Mercury somewhere in our chart. And that will give us the tool, the um, ability, the understanding, the intelligence, right? It's, it'll be like that, a light bulb moment. Okay, this is what I need to do. And we've got the Five of Cups. So we're still looking at the past, Right, five, six cups here. This could be a connection from the past. It could be some of us are looking back at the past. We're very quite nostalgic. We're mourning over some sort of, I don't know, uh, creative pursuit, something that was connected to money matters, to work. Remember, Virgo is work. Virgo and Virgo Scorpio, very, very... um. Uh, they're very similar in many ways. Scorpio is really, really deep, very hidden. Virgo is very analytical, but Virgo also, remember, uh, has got the ability to discern. There's, there's 
Virgo and Scorpio are separated by a sextile 60 degrees. So they've, they connect well together. Um, the ability for Virgo to read between the lines, right? There, there's great connections with Scorpio, but what I'm seeing here is that those two cups are still standing. So possibly this could also be where other people are connected as well. Third parties, and why do I say that? I mean, it's the three of cups that's spilled. A third party, uh, a situation um, that was affecting some sort of a partnership or an agreement or something here because we see the three cups that are spilt but we've got two cups standing and this cup is full as well so there's the uh, hermit my dear friends and the hermit is virgo someone is seeing the light someone's gone into their cave soul searching uh the hermit has got the ability to connect to understand to discern to To guide. Now, some of us could be uh, visiting someone who's guiding us moving forward. Could be a guru, could be a teacher, could be a an astrologer, could be, I don't know, we're doing that ourselves. So, soul searching, haven't gone within. The Hermit is a nine, the month of September. Could be a, a month of solitude, quiet, and we're doing the work. He's facing the past as well, as you could see. What is the Karma Dharma? Not that card. What is the Karma Dharma? 20th of September 2022. What is the Karma Dharma moving forward? We've got the moon, and the moon is in Cancer. This is also Pisces. The moon, I don't know if this is talking about as the moon is moving through Cancer now. Remember that uh, Cancer is all about, you know, emotional security, uh, anything connected to the mother, to the home. Of course, Pisces can also speak to um, Pisces is very much about sleep and the subconscious and uh, again, illusion, deception, the moon. Um, the moon doesn't have its own light, so therefore, you know, as we're coming up to, uh, obviously, a new moon in Libra, which will be happening in, in about five days, on the 25th, uh, the moon is obviously uh, losing its light. So something's come to a culmination with that full moon in Pisces, so we could be, uh, this could be, pointing us back to around about the 10th of September, roughly. 10th of September and end of August with a new moon in Virgo. Virgo Pisces axis, right? So very much about seeing the light, um, coming to some sort of uh, understanding. Uh, remember, nines always speak to endings. It is a major arcana card. So we have to, uh, this, you know, the major arcana cards, it, it messages from spirit. Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. She's very creative, very magnetic, very much about leadership, luck, very lucky. So Leo Virgo, I don't know if you're on the cusp with Leo. Queen of Wands, she desires, she desires what she's creating. She holds luck. She's very charming. She's very sexual. She's very out there, but maybe she's turned inwards, yeah, looking for information. And there's the sun, so Leo is very strong here. Some of you may have strong Leo and Virgo uh, in your charts. You could be dealing with uh, those energies as well with another person. The sun does speak to happiness in the past. Clarity, children, we've got... This could be her child, something that she's creating. Could be an actual child, but it could also speak to some sort of a happy period in the time of Leo, as the sun was transiting through Leo. Uh, the sun could also speak to reconciliation, happiness, uh, creating something, um, some sort of healing. 
The sun is happiness, it's clarity, happiness of the heart, and there's temperance. So we've got a lot of a lot of fire here. Sagittarius, something pertaining to um, physical distance, some sort of healing, a healing of the heart. Uh, maybe having taken a risk and uh, because remember I'm not reading reversals something that's been shown to you recently which has made you turn inwards you're seeking the wisdom seeking the information turning to someone that's wide for understanding I don't know of course it will be different for each of us Okay, the uh, hermit does see the light. He's one step before that well of fate, before uh, some sort of an ending. We're close to an ending. So let's see what this Five of Cups speaks to. There are the clouds, and that's what I was talking about. Cutting through the crap, there is some sort of a disillusion, deception to do with a love offer or a creative offer uh, connected to the past. This could also possibly be connected to a child or to something that someone has created, which is their creative expression. They've brought that out to the world, right? So... But the clouds, the clouds are not easy. Now, it's Neptune in Pisces. It can speak to uh, secrets or doubts. There's the 20, which is the, 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 uh, the garden. And the 20, you know, the garden speaks to happiness, someone's social standing, their public life. We usually see Venus here that's being reborn. Um... You know, a fountain is like running water. There's a lot of emotion here. Um, the garden speaks to connecting with other people as well. It speaks to uh, Uranus in Aquarius. So networks, t uh, teaming up with someone, maybe also finding out some information of social media, possibly, right, which could be... Um, Something that will be clearing the air for you. Let's see. Let's take one more. Someone's reputation out there in the world maybe has taken oh a beating. Wow. Okay. Lovely. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Number three in the ship. There's a transition towards change, towards positive change here, dear friends. This is Jupiter and Sag, and this is pertaining to a change connected to something long-term, okay? Um, possible physical distance, and we see more water here. A lot of illusion, disillusionment with the clouds. Again, Pisces, a lot of water. So a very emotional possible day. This could also be our subconscious, information coming through from our subconscious. I don't know why I get remembering or bringing up um, things from our subconscious which could give us some sort of clarity, and it's connected to the past. Okay, and three speaks to expansion, growth, obviously. Three, I don't know if this speaks to three days from now. Um, you know, the, uh, the ship also speaks to possible uh, travel, change, a journey, some sort of a new adventure opening up. What's going on here? And we've got the tree. And the tree speaks to a seed that's been planted from the past. Could speak to a past connection, family, someone's uh, emotional, physical health as well. Remember the hermit could possibly be a doctor, a holistic um, healer. Could be someone that's looking into their uh, psychological health as well. Uh, someone that's seeking advice. Remember um, that uh, the sun also speaks to healing. I don't know if this is a wounding of, you know, the spirit, the ego as well. Someone's taken a beating, a, their, their, their um, ego has taken a, a beating. Uh, 
some sort of a heavy lesson here but we see that there's transition let's see what's going on here and there's the sun again so leo is very very strong here and recently we've had the sun sun and moon new moon full moon new moon is a new seed a full moon of course speaks to something that is completing a cycle let's take a message from the uh, chocolate message cards by Rosie Shell, who those that are interested the chocolate lovers message cards what is the advice today 20th of September dear spirit what is it that we need to be advised what is it that we need to know we've got pudding and balance so Libra comes up again Now's the time to find balance in many areas of your life, work, finances and relationships in particular. Certain people and situations need your attention. Alchemy is at work. And that's what um, temperance speaks to as well. Spirit is going, you know, performing some sort of alchemy. There's, there's, there's promise here, divine timing. That's, we will come into balance. Okay, there is great promise here from spirit from Archangel Michael you may find yourself juggling many different aspects of life at this time balancing mixing and matching this with that until things fall into place and feel right you may need to try several approaches before you sell on what you feel right for you balance your inner self with your outer and you will reach your goals quicker but work with, uh, sorry, but work will be required to make this happen. And Virgo is all about work. So we're coming to the end uh, of the Virgo season. We've all sort of rolled up our sleeves. We've been doing the work. Now, as Mercury is going to ingress back into Virgo, Virgo, um, you know, Mercury will give us the understanding, the, the small details um, the logic, um, how to make things work, right? And I feel as as the sun will ingress into Libra, this is when we'll find the ability, the balance, the fairness, the justice with those that we connect with, those that we're dealing with. Remember, if we are not balanced and happy within ourselves, we cannot find a partner that will um complete us and i should say we should be completed feel whole and complete within ourselves before we can find another whole partner that we could share uh, moments in our life with i live my life in balance all my expectations are met with ease and libra season will be all about searching for that remember libra the scales all right, everyone, so I think I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much, sending you lots of love, lots of light. Watch out for the uh, the giveaway for Patreon. We're going to take the September winners, so look out for that, and I'll be doing an astro update as well. I have offered 13% because of my birthday, which was on the 13th of September, Um 13% off if you're interested in a personal reading send me an email my email is beneath this video so I could send you out the discounted link if you're interested for all of September okay thank you so much my dear friends love and light I will talk to you soon and happy birthday if you are celebrating your birthday today much love dear friends ta-da